driving for a long time now and still learning new steps. Neil is my driving partner at the moment, but I do like to drive with other lads, especially at all days. Driving is also a good way to chat with the girl. There are various styles of driving, all stemming from the 50s. It doesn't have to be a boy and a girl. You often see two girls driving together. When you and Bev go out to a club, do you get jealous when you see Bev dancing with other guys, Tony? Um, no, not really. I mean, I don't really jive and Bev does, so she gets up and has a jive with um, the girls and other lads and that. And like, say for today, for instance, we're going to an all day in Birmingham. It's a 12 hour rock and roll do, and it's um, loads of different cultures from different cities all meeting that. So like Bev will be dancing with other fellas from other towns and that, so um, no, I don't get jealous, not at all. Does that mean then that when you go out, you don't stay together through the night, so basically what happens? Well, usually I go with all my mates and he usually goes with his, mate, his mates, but we always end up together at the end of the night. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've been up now about um, four months, so it's just starting to get established and yeah. it's not doing too bad. Um, it's my place and why I decided to open it and sell clothes like this is being into rockabilly, looking for clothes myself to wear, I found it really difficult. I used to have to travel out to Manchester and London and I had a friend of mine who sold clothes in London, same time. So um, I just found out where he gets his clothes from, gets imported from America to a warehouse in London. So I went down with him and um, decided to open this to um, sell this type of clothing to the people in Liverpool who obviously needed it. Um, get a lot of people in and since it's been opened um, more people have been getting into the style and that. And then um, recently um, Flip opened over the road which is like um, a major store, so obviously they've seen that there's been a need for it. Where would you get your clothes from, Tony? Well, we get them from a warehouse in London. Um, a friend of mine does the market stores down there, he put me onto it. And when we were talking to the fellow who runs the warehouse, he imports it all from Wyoming. And because of like the number of jeans and denim jackets and stuff, we've been interested in where they come from and that. So we wrote to the contact in Wyoming, and apparently they come from um, the penitentiaries in the states and uh, the prison camps because it's like prison uniform and then they get sold as job lots to the contact in Wyoming and then it, he sells them in job lots to 
contacting London and then. Did you work here full time? Or? Yeah, well, it's just like an extension of the way I live, really. I mean, um, this is the way I live, so, you know, it's supplying clothes like this. It's just um, what I like to do, it's something I enjoy. At the moment, there is a fashion boom for the 50s look, which is evident on the streets of Liverpool today. Fashions come and go, but the loyal Rockabilly followers will still be dressing in the same styles as they have in the past.